Hello everyone. Welcome to the course of data communications and networks. In today's class, we are going to learn about how a transport layer is different from a network layer. Okay. So you can easily see a table over here, which differentiate both the layers like transport layer as the network layer. So the transport layer is on the left hand side and the network layer is on the right hand side. So these two layers plays an important roles in the complete OSA model. Okay. So let's see what does the transport layer do and what does the network layer do in a data communication process and how these both are completely different from one another we are going to see. Okay. So coming to the transport layer, it is responsible for the uh, entire message to be sent from host to destination. Let us say there are two devices or two uh, hosts or two communication systems which are keep on exchanging the data from one host to the another host okay so this particular transport layer will be completely responsible for this particular uh, transmission of the messages from host to destination okay and coming to the network layer it is responsible to send the packets so so it is only with respect to a single single packet as we all know the data complete data will be formed into some sort of signals and uh, segments and some sort of packets, right? So network layer will be responsible for each and every packet uh, in order to reach from host to destination, okay? But the transport layer looks after the entire message, not like uh, small, small packets. It looks after the entire message uh, in order whether the entire message has been sent from source to destination or the host to destination, okay? So the coming to the second point, transport layer is nothing but an it's a process to process communication or port to port communication. Suppose two devices are there, device A and device B. Okay, device A is trying to text a message to device B, and once the device B receives the message, the, again the device B retakes the message to this particular device A. Now, whatever the applications or the apps used for this particular process the software or the program related to this particular application or the process will be running at the background in the bo in both the hosts or the machines right so the complete communication with respect to process to the process so whatever the application responsible for this particular exchange of data or the messages these execution process will be or the communication with respect to port numbers each and every process or the application will be having respective segments as well as port numbers or the gateways right so all these things will be uh, taking care of this particular transport layer okay whereas network layer only looks about a complete overview structure of a host to host communication whether this host has sent message to the another host or not or whether uh, that particular b host has been successfully send the message to the host A or not. It just, oh, it takes care of the communication which is happening with respect to the exchange of data. But internally, whatever the app is under execution, the uh, signal which we are sending or the data which we are sending, uh, is it uh, from host A, is it reaching the host B to the same application or not? Everything will be taken care by this, this transport layer. But the overview host to host communication will be taken care by this network layer. Okay. So coming to the transport layer, it can be used inside the same network or different networks as well. Okay. Whereas uh, coming to the network layer, it can also be used uh, with respect to different networks. Okay. Now transport layer, as it is dealing with the process to process communication within the host or a machine, it uses actually the port numbers or the port addresses to ensure the communication. But coming to the network layer, it uses logical address, logical address to ensure the communication. Okay. Both port numbers, port addresses or logical addresses are completely different. So transport layer looks after the port numbers or port address to ensure the communication and network layers uses the logical address for ensure the communication okay so transport layer mostly can be implemented on a host machines like a two host machines which are using several applications uh, 
uh, in order to have a data transmission or reception of the uh, data or exchange of the data. But coming to the network layer, these network layer can also be implemented not only on hosts, but they can also be implemented on the network devices such as routers, switchers, and the switching mechanisms, everything uh, with this particular network layer comes into the picture. Okay. And the specialty of this particular transport layer is it provides better flow control as well as error control of the data. Okay. Uh, whereas network layer is also looks after the flow control as well as the error control, but it is not much effective or not as good as this particular transport layer. Okay. So these are the basic comparison of this, how a transport layer is different from a network layer. Both are important in the data communication, but both will be doing different, different operations. Network layer will be looking after the outer communication uh, to link the particular several hosts, whereas the transport layer will be looking after the internal process of the application or the execution of the software whenever a particular multiple applications are used. Okay. So uh, if when you compare these two layers, the flow control or the error control is much more better than uh, of uh, transport layer is much more better than the network layer. But both layers are very, very important and very, very uh, mid parts of the OSA model. Okay.